How's it going, guys? I just got out of It Chapter 2, and I have to say, it was so worth it. I enjoyed it immensely. Much, much better than the first one. Uh, it's really like night and day. The first one, if you saw my original video, I thought it was just like a PG censored snore fest. I thought the Losers Club was not all that great compared to the miniseries. I thought Skarsgård sounded way too much like Winnie the Pooh. Couldn't really take him seriously. I kept thinking I wish Tim Curry was in this. Um, I, it was just so boring. Uh, but this one, you know, it's close to three hours. It doesn't feel like it, though. It's really, really good. I think that's because uh, the casting, first off, is great. Um, Bill Hader immediately steals the show as Richie. He did a fabulous job. The rest of the cast is amazing. The guy who played Eddie, I, I have to look up all their names. I'm not familiar with all the actors, so forgive me if I just reference the character instead of the actor's name, but the actor who played Eddie looked, it was uncanny how much he looked like the child Eddie, and uh, he did a great job too. A lot of uh, funny moments from him. Yeah, I'll say it right out of the gate. It Chapter 2, much better than It Chapter 1. Uh, sort of the opposite with the miniseries with Tim Curry, whereas the first half where they were kids was immensely better than the half when they were adults. I love the one, the part when they were kids. When they were adults, it was crap. Um, this one here, obviously, I feel the opposite. Uh, I think one of the things going in this movie's favor the most is that the kills aren't censored like in the first one, and I was like, thank you. And that even comes down to the kids' deaths. Like, you will see a kid get a bite taken out of him. Actually, you see more than one. I'd say my favorite scene was when Pennywise uh, lures the girl in in the baseball game. And uh, one of the things that they addressed, which was a complaint I had with the Pennywise design, and a lot of people did, was that, you know, he, he looks scary. He doesn't look like a friendly clown like Tim Curry does, so you can't imagine any kid would, you know, get tricked by this guy. Uh, they addressed this in that scene by, uh, he's trying to lure this girl into the bleachers and he's like, oh, don't you want to be my friend? I want to be your friend. She goes like, yeah, if you wanted to be my friend, you wouldn't be hiding in the dark. And uh, you look scary, so I'm going to go. And then he tries a different tactic where he starts crying. And he's like, oh, you know, people make fun of me all the time because I'm deformed. And I thought, you know, if I just hid in the dark and you didn't see what it really looked like, you'd be more willing to be my friend. And then she starts feeling sorry for him because she's got a big birthmark on her face and says uh, kids at school make fun of her for that too. And then he plays on that to get her closer and closer and he's like, oh, I can get that off for you, just blow it away. And she gets close enough and, you know, finally he bites into her. I think that was the most effective scene in the movie in terms of showing what a dickhead Pennywise is. Oh, one of my favorite scenes, which is one of the most disturbing scenes too, is uh, the beginning where that group of bullies uh, beats up the gay couple and throws one over the bridge into the river. A lot of people were gasping in the theater, like, oh my god, did they just really do that? And I was kind of left in silence. I was like, oh my god, this is way hardcore. I can't believe they're showing us. And then you see him calling for help, and he climbs out of the river, and then Pennywise is there to take a big bite out of him right in front of his boyfriend. And, uh, my goodness, like, they show everything. Um, there's a kid, same thing happens to him in a fun house, and uh, the build-up leading up to both those kills is uh, fabulous. I thought Bill Skarsgård did a much better job here. Then again, he had a lot more to work with. I think uh, visual effects, the score, like, everything sort of came together to uh, help his performance. Um, you know, a lot of people won't have any complaints with him, and in fact will think uh, he's fabulous as Pennywise. I think he did a really good job, but it's my personal thing is he sounds so much like Winnie the Pooh when he does his Pennywise voice that I just can't help but wait for a reference to Christopher Robin somewhere. It's just one of those things I'm not going to get out of my head, but you know, if you've, if you've never seen Winnie the Pooh, you're not going to have that problem. Um, the... The whole movie was just miles better than the first. Um, I think some of my favorite scenes were uh, when they first get together in the restaurant at the Chinese place, and you know they're all starting to remember things and joking around, and then suddenly things just get serious, and um, things start like gross things start sprouting around the table, and um, that one was 
awesome just for both styles of tone. Uh, the final battle uh, had its it had its problems. It was a bit drawn out, and they changed the script in a way where they essentially bully Pennywise to death until he shrinks small enough to uh, actually pull his heart out of his chest and crush it. So in the book, they do crush Pennywise's heart when he's in spider form, and here he's still kind of looking like a clown uh, slash spider. He like sprouts a bunch of legs and turns giant, but um, they kept some parts with the book and then changed certain things. So. You know, it it was fair enough to the book, I feel. But, uh, you know, not everyone will be happy with the changes. I, I didn't mind it, even though the, the way they killed him was a bit silly. Uh, the deadlights looked way better in this. There were, like, these three huge, enormous orbs that came out of this, like, gigantic, uh, like, tunnel thing with teeth on the sides. And um, you see there's a point where Bill Hader as Richie is you know, yelling at Pennywise and taunting him, and then all of a sudden he just gets, like, lifted up, and Pennywise sprouts open its mouth to show all the deadlights and stuns him with the real form of the deadlights behind him. thought that was great. Um, yeah, it was way better than that spider model they did in the, in the miniseries. I think, in general, the things that Pennywise turned into were a lot more disturbing than what he turned into in the first one. Like, the first one had that lame painting chick, uh, you know, the hands coming out of the door. It, it just, the transformations were so lackluster, and then you don't even really see him kill anybody in that one, so I was just like, ugh, whatever. This one, the transformations were disturbing. The, the old lady from the trailer, it's, you know, there's uncensored nudity for that thing. <laughs> like, he just turns into, like, a long, spindly old lady, and you see her big like droopy hanging boob swinging around as she's running after him that was disturbing uh he turns into the paul bunyan statue which is really cool um and then there's the uh the thing he turns into with the fire oh yeah he for he turns into beverly and then gets like a, a flaming head and chases after ben that was that was pretty neat there's a, a leper he turns into um like in the first one but he turns into it again in the uh, basement of the pharmacy and has an encounter with Eddie. Uh, I like the transformations a lot more um, just because they didn't censor anything out. Uh, I'd say if I had complaints, really few. One is Bill Skarsgård sounding like Winnie the Pooh. That kind of, I thought was a little silly. Uh, the Henry Bowers thing, you know, it was like the miniseries where Henry Henry Bowers sees a vision of his friend who died and uh, breaks out of the insane asylum and then goes and attacks the Losers Club. I think it didn't work as well in this one as it did in the miniseries just because of all the other stuff going on. It didn't feel as consequential. It does have something to do with uh, Eddie learning to uh, defend himself and and that he's braver than he thinks he is because he does uh, save himself from getting killed by Bowers by attacking him. But with everything else in there and because of the length of the movie, it doesn't seem like it made as much of an impact as he intended. Uh, so I could see where people would have complaints with that. Um, additionally, uh, I don't know, the, the way they killed Pennywise was slightly different from the books as I mentioned before how they essentially bullied him to death it wasn't the greatest but it wasn't like a huge letdown uh, there's one there's one thing where I guess they're alluding to Richie having a secret that he's homosexual and perhaps has a, a crush on Eddie uh, but it seems kind of thrown in there it doesn't seem to have as much of an effect as they were intending because you know if you have seen the book and the miniseries you know that uh, Eddie dies in the end and uh, Bill Hader tremendous acting from him gets really emotional over it and he carves his name next to Eddie in this uh, railing but then it's like it's more like he's emotional over the loss of a friend versus him having a deeper connection and like that kind of a way for him. But again, these are like really minor to me. I've seen some people complain that, oh, there's too much humor in this movie. 
Well, it's like, look, if you were a fan of the first one, go back and watch the first one. It was 90% dick jokes and the kids, you know, going back and forth at each other with people laughing at that, and then, like, 10% it popping out and doing a cutaway jump scare. Like, that's mostly what it was. So, if you're going to complain about the jokes in this movie, which, by the way, are way funnier, um, you're being a hypocrite and holding it to a different standard. Um, yeah, there is a lot of humor in this movie, but it's backed up with a lot of really creative kills and uh, just an incredible cast and a good story all around. Uh, I'm a big fan of the fact that they uh, included the ritual of Chud in this. There's a big part of the book that they left out of the miniseries, uh, but they actually go on to explain the ritual, what it is, uh, like how it kills Pennywise, uh, how he was stopped the first time. Um, they give a reference to uh, Maturin the turtle. They don't explicitly show him, but they show uh, like a toy turtle uh, in the foreground, like as they're panning. Uh, it would have been way too much to uh, throw him in there, especially with the runtime that this movie has. Uh, but yeah, I would say go see this. Uh, it was good. It was good. I was skeptical because of the trailer, but. Uh, they definitely delivered. Uh, big thumbs up. I would recommend seeing this in IMAX just because the uh, sound is great in this and uh, the extra... I think IMAX is like, what, $7 more usually? Um, the movie really benefits from IMAX. But do yourself a favor, go see It Chapter 2. I'm probably going to see it again uh, with a group of friends this time. And uh, let me know what you think of this. If you're in the camp that liked the first one better, I'm really interested in hearing your opinions because this is just something I can't wrap my head around. And if you agree with me and like It Chapter 2 much better than It Chapter 1, I'd also like to uh, read your reasons for it. Uh, maybe you have some different reasons why I like it uh, more than the first one. Um, things that I didn't list. Um, but yeah, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys later.